Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here and welcome back to another Cardano video. If you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an update. What I do here is 100% Cardano content. So today's video is going to be relatively quick. I'm going to show you how to use the Atomic Wallet, which is a multi-asset wallet. Basically, it's one that you can store multiple cryptocurrencies in while you hold the private keys. I'm going to show you how to stake your ADA, your Cardano within that wallet. So jumping over to the screen here, you can see my Atomic Wallet opened here. Now, personally, I use the Daedalus Wallet, which is the official Cardano wallet, but some people like to use a wallet where they can store multiple coins in the same wallet. So right now, this would be probably the best option in that category. So you can see here, they store a lot of different coins. They're a very transparent company. I have had contact support in the past and they were extremely quick coming back. When you come down here, they have a section for staking. So they do allow you to stake multiple coins. The one that I am going to concentrate on is Cardano. So you can see I have put a small amount in here for the test. So when I commit to Cardano here, you have to choose the stake pool that you allocate your funds to. So when I click on choose, it automatically here shows Atomic Wallet as the pool that it's going to assign to. But they have added the feature that allows you to select the pool that you want to stake to. So you can see Atomic Wallet comes up here. But if you go into custom pool, then you can give the pool whatever name you want. So for me, I'm going to stake to my own pool, Paul. Again, you can call it anything. What's important is the custom pool ID. And most stake pools will have the custom pool ID on their website clearly. Or you can come over to something like pooltool.io. You can see here, you can come over to it and up in the top, you can see the ID here and you can just copy that. That's what you need. If I go back to Atomic Wallet, then I paste that in here and then click on save. So you can see my pool now is there. It is the one that is going to be delegated to here. You can come in and you can see it's in the list. You can go back to Atomic if you want instead of the custom pool you've added, but it's all there now. So by default, it stakes all of the coins in the wallet, but with ADA staking or Cardano, it does not lock the funds once you stake them. So you can move them at any stage you want. There is no worries about that. So staking all of them is the thing to do. So you come on down here then and you click stake and put in the spend or not the spending, put in the password for your atomic wallet, click confirm. And then it says success. Ada was successfully staked and then it gives you the transaction ID. So if I go back to staking now, I can see that obviously I have no rewards yet, but they will start to generate it takes initially 15 to 20 days for your first returns to come in. I do have a video on that, which I will place down below for you. So you can check that out as well. So I hope this has been a help. I'll put links to the Atomic Wallet website up in the description as well. And other videos to other wallets as well, like Deadlift or Euroi, that you can also stake your Ada Cardano in. So any questions, let me know down below. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe and give the video a share if you feel others can benefit from it too. Thanks for watching guys. I will talk to you soon.